Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, you will ask, what is the measure of a life? You will ask, has my existence made a difference? Have I had the impact in the world that I was meant to? Have I lived in accordance with what I have believed? Have I been faithful? Beloved, you could live a life that has been faithful to your heart, or you can live a life that has been faithful to the mind. And indeed, there are several minds that you may align with. The mind of God, or the mind of this civilization that has agreed to certain doctrines, certain beliefs, certain ways in which one treats oneself and one treats others. When you live from your heart, beloved ones, you take a chance. You take a chance to allow yourself to know and to remember what it is to be truth, what it is to be kindness, what it is to be light. When you live in a world where there is a dance of so much shadow, And yet when you make the decision, when you direct your will to be in accordance and to be in alignment with your heart, there is a strength that comes forth, not only from within you, but you are met with guidance. You are met with support. Your walk becomes easier. Your gait becomes lighter. There is a joyfulness because you have decided to go with the flow of the universe rather than trudging your way like a salmon attempting to swim upstream. Let yourself go with the flow of life, beloved ones. And that flow happens from within the heart, not within the mind. The mind will have you go every which way until you light upon the mind of God. And the mind of God is in unison with the heart. For that is where your truth lives. So you must ask yourself, until this becomes second nature to you, until this becomes your default, what is it that my heart desires? For that is the truth path to one's soul. Blessings to you, precious and beloved brothers and sisters. You need only listen, and you will know. For you are, and I am, love. We love you and we will indeed speak with you again.